the second sum in exercise 2.3 i will do the third division for you 3 by 8 multiplied by 6 by 4 Uh, the question is multiply and reduce to lowest form if possible in most of the cases you will see that it is not possible but in this particular case you can follow the instructions and multiply straight away which is 3 into 6 by 8 into 4 and write the answer or another easier way if you can look at this you can cancel which i have already done you can reduce to lowest form here itself uh, both of them are even numbers they are in the two table so 2 2 times 2 is 4 and 2 times 3 is 6 so the answer would be 9 by 16 you may wonder whether this is right to cancel now you can multiply and cancel also you will be getting the same answer 6 into 3 is 18 Eight fours are thirty-two. If you reduce now, you reduce and try it by say, uh, by two, of course, by the two table, you will get the same answer. This is just easier for calculation purposes. So this was the third part, the third subdivision in your second sum. The fourth one, which is greater? How are you going to do it? Let me do the second one for you. Fourth one, which is greater? Half of six by seven, or two by three of three by seven. The question is which is greater. So you will have to simplify both sides and compare. How will you compare? You will have to find the LCM and equate the denominators. Unless you make them as like fractions, you will not be able to compare. You should keep it in mind. So let me do it. Half of six by seven is what? Half multiplied by six by seven, which is six by fourteen. You're going to compare. Is it six by seven into three is twenty-one? One way is to equate the denominators and compare. An easier way is when the numerators numerators are equal, you can still compare. How will you do it? Do you, can you recollect what you did in uh, class seven? How will you compare two fractions when their numerators are equal? Just try to recollect. Otherwise, I'll help you with it. 